And Nancy Pelosi also met with Korean Foreign Minister Yoon byung se where Minister Yoon is reported to have said the Japanese Prime Minister should specifically refer to Tokyo's past acknowledgement of its wartime sexual enslavement in his upcoming U.S. congressional speech. Seoul's Foreign Ministry said Yoon asked for Washington's support on the matter so that Abe's speech can send a positive message to Korea and other countries that were so horribly affected by Japan's imperialist atrocities. It's the first time the Korean minister has called for expressions such as Japan's past aggressions, colonial rule and comfort women issue in regards to Abe's speech. Pelosi, however, is reported to have maintained a position that the inclusions are the Japanese leader's decision.